What is going on, YouTube? This is Trainer Caller, and it's time for a Wi-Fi battle video. Thank you guys for coming to this Wi-Fi battle. And if you enjoy this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content in the near future. But today's battle, we're facing off against Necro Stevo. I will leave his Twitter account and YouTube channel in the description. I believe he's going to post his side of this awesome match, which is a mixed tier battle where you can bring anything you want besides Ubers, so Pokemon from past generations, plus the new Pokemon that were introduced in Sun and Moon. So we have Samurai, Mega Garchomp, Tapu Koko, uh, Golisbod, Salazzle, and uh, Weavile. My opponent has Keldeo, Fortress, Tapu Bulu, and uh, Minior, all those guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the match. Let's get started. So I'm going to start off with Samurai, or I'm going to start out with Samurai. And he goes straight for the attacking move. I was thinking Keldeo would have a setup option, but he does not have that. Because he's Choice Scarf or Choice Specs. We don't know that right now, but I know he's Choice in some way. So with that said, without Samurai, I don't know how to handle his a couple of his Pokemon there. I go with Tapu Koko. I figured he might switch out into something, but I didn't know who. So I go for the Nature's uh, Madness. So we catch Marowak alone for him. Now, it's unfortunate I went for Thunderbolt there. I was... Assuming that he had Rockhead as an ability. So I basically take a Shadow Bone to the face and we don't take out Marowak. So that completely, I guess it kind of worked. I mean, I almost took out Marowak. But I had to take all those attacking moves for no reason because I misclicked. And I didn't realize that he had Lightning Rod as an ability. So I go into Garchomp here. This is Shark Bite, the Mega Garchomp. We'll go Mega here. And he goes into, um, Necrosivo goes into Tapu Bulu, has the Grassy Surge ability, which, for those who don't know, what that does, it shows right there. It's got the, the ability allows you to restore your HP when you're low on HP, which is awesome for both of us. We'll have that Taste the HP back whenever we want, as long as this ability is in effect. I have Iron Head, but we hit Keldeo because I believe Echo Zero predicts that and he just goes into the, that thing. Um, knowing that this Keldeo is choice in some fashion, I'm going to go into my Assault Vest Go Out Spot. I'm trying to get that right. And Assault Vest raises their special defense. I go for Poison Jab, trying to poison Keldeo and put some more damage onto that thing. Because I think it's a monster. Necrosifo switches out and goes into Fortress. Basically dodges it. And we see just how effective this Fortress is. Because we, I know we, we saw this Fortress before. It's got Stealth Rock, it's got Spikes has the Rocky Helmet as a held item. I'm thinking, okay, I know he's going to go with another layer of spikes. Now it's time to go into Solazzle, who's a fire type. I can go with the fire type move to basically scare him out. But I do predict Marowak coming back in. I go with a nasty plot. We do take uh, Stealth Rock damage coming in. And I'm also Life Orbed. I will be taking HP away when I'm using a attacking move. So we go with a Dragon Pulse to take care of Meryl Black alone in form. But I take a little bit of HP out because I have the Life Orb equipped. Now here's the thing. I was thinking of switching out into uh, something else other than Salazzle. But then I realized, eh, if he's Scarfed, he's locked into one move, and therefore I can go into something and, and resist it, and I can have a free opportunity to do something. But that's the other way around, as I will speed uh, Kelgio and finish him off with a Sludge Bomb. 
So that happened there. I'm going to go back into uh, Sharkbite, the Mega Garchomp. I don't have anything to hit Minior with, uh, Soazzle. So this is my prime opportunity to go back into Mega Garchomp. Now it's unfortunate because we let Minior set up a, uh, we call it Shell Smash. So he's got a nice boost to his attack and special attack. We have Iron Head, super effective, but Minior is really defensive. So we'll not take him out and we lose Garchomp in the process. But that's okay. We're going to Weavile. I'm going to bet Neko Sivo to switch out because he thinks I have Ice Shard, which is a priority move. Little does he not know I do not have Ice Shard. I have Ice Punch. So if he stayed in there, he would have taken out Weavile for sure because Rock is weak to Ice. And so, you know, just having that working out there, that, that's just awesome. It kind of changed the way the battle is going to go and the end of this video. So, um, and here's another uh, change of events here. I go with an Ice Punch. I know it's not going to kill, but we get the freeze on the Zapdos, which is amazing. Uh, that basically changes the outcome of this battle. And I'll tell you why, because Zapdos naturally outspeeds Weavile, I would assume. So if he wasn't frozen, I would be gone right now. And the game would pretty much be over at that point. But because I froze, Zapdos will be able to take out not only Zapdos, but Minior, uh, Kapu Bulu, because it's a grass type. We file naturally at speeds. Kapu Bulu, who's also one of those uh, guardians of Aloha, along with uh, Kapu Coco that I used earlier in the match. And we see Grass and Surge coming in effect. We restore some HP there. And his last Pokemon is going to be. Fortress. And I was thinking of switching out there just to make things a little bit more interesting, but I was like, well, if he's got something for me, I don't want him to use it. So therefore, we go with another knockoff, and we win this battle. All because of the, of the not only was the freeze hatch there, but scaring Minior with the possibility of Ice Shard. I had to make that call. And Neko Sivo fell for that. So that was a great battle. Um, of course, Neko Sivo is going to get revenge on me for getting the freeze on his Zapdos. That was totally unfair in some ways, but that was still a great battle. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the match, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you all next time with another battle video. See you all later. Goodbye.